Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about some of the miracle stories that are happening right here in our own city, in our own state, every day. My name is Tony Kosha, and the title of our show is Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. Please note, uh, this show is not about religion, and we're not trying to change anyone's religion, and we're not trying to get you to join any religion. Uh, It's just about miracle stories. I don't know of any religion on the planet that doesn't talk about miracles. Uh, That's why religions begin, because they have something that's telling them there's really a God. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to just talk about miracles and leave the decisions about all that up to you. So we don't care what religion you are. Uh, We just want to talk about miracles. Uh, If you are an atheist, uh, I I think you'll enjoy the program as well, although I can't guarantee you'll remain an atheist very long after you hear uh, many, many convincing stories, uh, coincidence kinds of stories about miracles. Uh, You can email me your own stories if you wish. Um, We'll try to use all we can on the show. I can't guarantee we will, depending on volume and time. But you're welcome to send your stories on to us, and we will mention them when we can. Uh, You can send them to the following email address. Um, uh, But please notice that if we do use your story, we won't mention your name. We'll keep you anonymous. And we suggest that in your story, when you send it to us, don't use your correct name. That way, anyone listening will not be able to figure out that it was you that sent the story in. Uh, The email address you can send your stories to uh, is very easy to remember. It consists of two words and three numbers. The first word is Tony, spelled T-O-N-Y. And the second word is and, spelled A-N-D. And the numbers are 777. So once again, the name is Tony and 777 at AOL.com. Well, let us begin. Hi, everyone. This is week number 48, and I've been sharing uh, down-to-earth coincidence miracles for the last couple of weeks. And I think uh, this week we're doing the same, but I think some that are a little bit more uh, different than the average day. For example, um, in the year 2020, November 7th and November 8th, the temperatures at the beach in Connecticut, Ham and Acid Beach, were like 73 degrees. So I was inspired that day while I was planning what to do to take a trip to the beach and walk along the boardwalk. And as I usually do, I hand out cards about our book and our website and our podcast for the radio so I can advertise that way by just handing out cards to people. And a lot of people engage me and talk about miracles when they see what the card is about. And so what I do is I follow the Holy Spirit's lead, uh, share some of their miracles, I ask them questions, and I enjoy hearing their miracles. Most people, if you give them a chance to think about it, most people have wonderful miracles in their life they can share. So it becomes great discussions, you know. They start telling me about God in their life, and then I tell them about my books and the radio and the radio podcast show and some recent miracles or current miracles in my life. So it's a great experience. And, you know, the reason for it is because God inspires me to go out and try to get people to talk to him every day, like I've been saying in all of our weekly shows. God very much wants people to talk to him all the time as a friend because he's always there 24 hours a day as a friend. And so that's my mission, and that's what the books and my radio shows are all about. So this is a wonderful day because I drove down to Ham and Acid Beach, and when I got there, as I pulled into the driveway, um, another car was pulling at the same time as me, and its license plate was 888. And those of you who know me by now, that's a very clear sign for me because the number 888 stands for the holy name of Jesus. And here I was doing his will, and I I drove for about, I don't know, 50 minutes maybe, 50 or 55 minutes, and I got to this beach. So I precisely, perfectly as I get there, as I arrive at the parking lot and pull in the driveway, another car is pulling in with me, perfectly timed. And 
I've been seeing this for 50 years now, so forgive me if I tell you it's a coincidence miracle and you can't believe it. I think the first maybe 50 or 40 or 50 times that it happened to me in my life, I said, oh, it's just a coincidence. But, you know, <laughs> after 40 or 50 times in 50 years, uh, this happens and you start to realize it's not just a coincidence. So that's part of my mission. I mean, God has been blessing me for 50 years and God expects me now to stand up for the cause. Uh, I know that when these things happen, pulling into a driveway, that two cars arrive at the same second, at the same split second, I know after 50 years that that is God intervening. And so my role and my mission is to convince people not to just treat it flippantly like a coincidence. So I went in and I started to pass out cards, and I passed out about 40 cards that day. Well, actually, I think I passed out probably 100 cards, but I wound up having discussions with 40 people. So in my life, doing that, not only am I trying to help other people, but imagine me, I I leave after the end of the day, and I've heard 40 people sharing miracle stories, which now becomes very convincing to me too. So bottom line, beside me with my mission, uh, now I'm being strengthened by the fact that I'm hearing other people's messages. So a couple of them in point here, Coincidence Miracles, is I met a couple, and I've heard this before from other couples, so it's really uh, touching to me when I hear it again. It proves that God is at work. Uh, here's what happened to this couple and, and many other, I would say maybe 10 other couples in my life told me the same kind of thing. This couple met in high school, and after high school was over, and they got they got married to other people, different people. Both of their spouses died, and they were on a vacation in another state far away from Connecticut. And they met on the vacation in another state, and they knew each other, and they remembered each other from high school. And they fell in love. And uh, they got married, and they've been married now for like 20 years. And uh, while I was just flabbergasted again, like I say, this, maybe I've heard 10 stories like this of God's intervention. And they knew it was a miracle, by the way, when they met uh, and they fell in love and they got married and married for 20 years. They, These two people are positive, positive that God intervened in their life and, and made this happen. And so they're so delighted. And the husband shared with me uh, that... This moment in his life was so special that every year on the same date, and it was April 15th, by the way, which is the day you pay your income taxes, they met on April 15th. So every year on April 15th, he does something uh, to remind her of his love and that they met on that day. And she, she shared how it's so especially impactful and meaningful to her that every year on April 15th, he sends her a, a, a card or he buys her a gift or he he buys her a coffee and puts her name on it and then draws a picture of a heart or something. But every April 15th, I mean, it's quite an endearing story. And I was so, t I mean, I got choked up listening to it. They were so much in love. It was, it was written all over their faces. And they were so uh, loving and tender to each other uh, after married 20 years. I was really impacted. So... I went on and I'm passing out some more cards and then suddenly, about five minutes later, I met another couple, a young couple, very young couple, and they just got married. They just finished college recently. I don't know it's I guess maybe a year earlier they finished college. And they met in Scotland on vacation, just like this other two that were married twenty years I just told you about. Uh, but these two met on vacation in Scotland and Ireland on some trips that they were taking and fell in love. And they they were just married now for about a month. So here they are out at the beach. They've been married a month. And so I just couldn't resist. I, I saw that God was inspiring me to to do this. It was another coincidence miracle. God gave me a wonderful story of marriage, very touching about the couple that on April 15th, uh, the husband always buys something for his wife or does something, N nothing too expensive, you know, but uh, he always does something. And now I meet a brand new couple, only married a month. And so I told them the story, and they were so touched. They got choked up, too. It was such a beautiful story. And now they are both, because the, the wife uh, 
uh, had to step away, but the husband told me that he's going to be doing this every year on the date that they met in Scotland or Ireland. So I thought I'd share that with you because the other coincidence besides seeing the three eights on the way in is that God had me meet these couples, the couple married 20 years um, and also now the, this new couple. And when I finished for the day and I was ready to go home, I, I went to my car and I as I was pulling out of the driveway of the beach, all right, now I'm pulling out of the driveway and another car is pulling out of the driveway right in front of me. I'm following him out of the out of the parking lot. We're going through the driveway to get to the road together. And the car in front of me has a license plate with the word PAX, spelled P-A-X, PAX. And that means, it's a Latin term, but it means, uh, uh, may the peace of God be with you. That's what it means. PAX Domini uh, means, may the peace of God be with you. And Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. So if the Prince of God is going to be with me... uh, the peace of the of, if the peace of God is going to be with me, and Jesus is also known as the Prince of Peace, then that was totally another flabbergasting coincidence miracle. So the coincidences are entering and seeing the three eights, and then meeting the older couple, and sharing their uh, wonderful story about April fifteenth with the younger couple, was a coincidence set up by God. And now on the way out, so God could show me that He was with me on the way in. He was with me. In the process, and now on the way out, as Psalm 21 says, by the way, Psalm 21 says, I will bless your coming in, and I will bless your going out. So I thought I'd share all that with you. It's very all uh, providential and coincidental. Our next coincidence miracle is a real quick one. Uh, I was inspired with my to-do list one day to send an email out to my mailing list. I've developed quite a large mailing list over the last uh, 50 years, Um, and so I was inspired to send one out, and I was inspired that the topic was to try to not only tell people to remember to keep talking to God, and I share some miracles in my meditations when I send these out, these uh, emails to people on the mailing list, and uh, so I was inspired to share how God decided to become our friend, and I know I've shared this with you in the past. But when God decided to be our friend individually, personally, one-on-one, that means that he decided to have his total presence, his total concentration and interest, and um, he's not doing anything else, he's not multitasking. His presence is with each single person. So I have him with me all day long, and all he's thinking about with me is exactly what I'm doing because he's got another presence in heaven, and he's got another presence with you and another presence with whatever he wants to be doing. So if God wanted to be doing uh, 7 billion things at the moment, he has 7 billion presences precisely dedicated and devoted to whatever he's doing. So every single person on the planet has an individual, singular presence of God that is only interested in you. That's it. He doesn't have anything else. He doesn't bring a briefcase with him. Uh, He's not bringing bringing things he wants to do beside while he's waiting there, sitting with each one of us all day long, 24 hours a day, even while we're sleeping. So to explain that to people and to explain also that he created us, each one of us, so you know, he manufactured our body parts. He he decided the fingernails we have, uh, the color of our hair, the color of our eyes, etc., etc. So I sent the email out to my mailing list, and then I noticed after I sent it out that I had gotten an email from a friend of mine like five hours beforehand, which I had not read. I opened it up, and it said the same thing that I had just sent out. My friend sent me four or five hours earlier. God bless you all. I'll talk to you next week. Mm-hmm.